This is a spoiler review for Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. If you plan on seeing it and haven't seen it yet, I suggest stopping the video, seeing it, and coming back to it. Thank you. I, like millions of kids in the 90s, grew up with Goosebumps. Got the books, watched the show, and ever since the first movie was released, my interest in R.L. Stein's ghoulishly delightful series has resurfaced. The 2015 movie was, in my opinion, a lot of fun from beginning to end. Uh, on opening day, me and my brother bought our tickets and sat down to finally see the second outing. My expectations, however, weren't too high, as sequels have a history, long history, of not being up to par with the original. Walking out of Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween, I can honestly say that it's not as good as the first film, but it's nowhere near terrible. Here's what I liked and disliked about the film. What I liked. I thought the three main kids played by Madison Eisman, Jeremy Ray Taylor, and Khalil Harris were really good and had very nice chemistry with one another, much like the kids in the first movie. The other actors in the film were fine, but the three leads here, they were definitely the standouts. I like that they were able to get Jack Black to return as R.L. Stein for a few scenes. Although the scenes reek of last minute inclusion, it was nevertheless fun to see him back and don the glasses again. There was a scene where he notices a red balloon floating by a sewer that I found absolutely hilarious and a very nice callback to the first film. I was surprised after seeing the movie to find out that Jack Black did not return to voice Slappy. Instead, he was voiced by Mick Wingert, uh, whose impression of Black is so dead on. I mean, it's just eerie. Um, and if uh, you don't know who Mick is, he voices Poe in the Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesome. Legends of Awesomeness uh, TV series. You know, it's just, it's a really good impression. I really like some of the new monsters in the film. My favorites are uh, this giant spider made up of balloons. I thought uh, that was really interesting. And it was really well animated. Um, I like the sea creature with like this crab-like arm. He's not in it a whole lot, but he was very memorable. To me, at least. Um, then there were these pumpkins that spit uh, seeds and breathe fire. I thought they were really a lot of fun. Especially this one that's kind of a little ditzy. I thought that was funny, you know? And um, But my favorite out of all of them have to be the witches with the crystal ball-like heads. I thought they were really cool and the design was just... Uh, it was really incredible for them. I liked that they homaged Slappy's card in his pocket. It was a nice wink back to the fans who, like me, grew up with the character. Um, I'll, I'll, in a moment, I'll get into what I, I didn't like about that. But uh, for the most part, I enjoyed that they wanted to do something to homage and, and kind of give us something that uh, we could remember. Last thing I liked about the film was the, uh, well, part of the plot. Uh, I just liked the concept of the Halloween costumes, decorations, and candy coming to life and wreaking havoc on the small town. It's a fun idea, and it feels different from the original film, which is a plus. And now we move on to the dreaded dislikes. There's a plot near the end with Slappy turning the kid's mom into a dummy because he's never had a mother before. Yeah, it just didn't work all too well for me. Uh, I mean, I did kind of like the voice that the mother was doing. You know, it was really kind of creepy. But it just, it just didn't work. I'm sorry. Like I mentioned previous, I liked the, some of the monsters in the film. But they unfortunately got so little screen time. I mean, just like the first movie, it, it just was really sad. You know, I just I want to see more of them. And they just didn't balance them off too well. Uh, I also want to mention that it was a missed opportunity in bringing in the other Goosebumps monsters. 
we wanted to see on the big screen. I mean, there was no Mass Mutant, no Horrorland Horrors, no Cuddles, no Curly. I mean, it's, it was just, it was such a missed opportunity. Yeah, we get to see the Werewolf, the Abominable Snowman, the Lawn Gnomes, Slappy. I mean, that's fine, but it's annoying that, I mean, the film's called Goosebumps, and there aren't that many Goosebumps-type characters aside from the returning ones. I mean, it's just it's just kind of uh, irksome. Lastly, there's a bit of a continuity error. Um, it's just a nitpick, but um, Slappy gets sucked into the book at the end of the first film, and now he's in a suitcase for the kids to find and read his card. Yeah, it, it's just... It's a bit confusing, but it doesn't really ruin the film that much. Despite those issues I had, I thought Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween was fun. Not at all bad like Rotten Tomatoes would leave you to believe. I mean, it had its ups and downs, but it never makes the film unwatchable, in my opinion. Um, if I had to rate it, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. So, uh, definitely recommended. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review, and if you saw it, let me know what you thought in the comments below.